just found a manga artist. She has her own manga. You know what I gotta do, right? You know what I gotta do, right? And then for, she draws JoJo too. You know I love JoJo. I'm in downtown Houston at Bad Astronaut where they're hosting a free Comic Con hosted by Bedrock City. And I said, you know what, let me just pop in. I mean, it's free after all. For those who aren't familiar, a comic convention or comic con is an event showcasing comics, manga, anime, and popular characters from video games, movies, and TV shows. You should expect to see people dressed up as their favorite character. We call that cosplay. And these events even host cosplay contests. You're also going to find little shops where people are selling books, figures, collectibles, t-shirts. The list goes on. Special guests like artists, creators, voice actors, and so much more will be there too. I was able to meet all the special guests there and I got a chance to interview most of them. Hi everyone, my name is Ruzu. I'm a comic artist. Uh, this is Status Royale, my latest comic series. And it's about uh, eSports. So it's like sports manga, but make it make it about video games. You can follow me at Ruemzu on any platform. Have a good one. How's it going, everyone? My name is Nico Rodriguez, and I am a cartoonist from Houston, Texas. West, not South, is a crime comedy uh, anthropomorphic graphic novel. It's about a city mouse who moves to the far west and gets involved in a wacky revenge plot. Basically, Bojack Horseman meets the Coen brothers, how I pitch it. So the art is uh, all done traditionally on paper, pencil, ink, and the whole thing is watercolored as well. It's 148 pages, all in this awesome hardcover uh, graphic novel. You can see some of my work on Instagram at Nico underscore rights. And if you want to support some of my comics, you can go to Kickstarter and search the words West, comma, not South. That is my Kickstarter that is running beginning April 1st. You know what's cool about this? Right across by Astronaut is Man Bay Park. Let me show you. Have you heard of the actor Orson Welles? Well, one of the things he's most known for is a stunt that he pulled on radio in 1938. He had a radio program and he did a drama where he pretended that aliens had invaded Earth and treated it like it was a real thing. So people were listening on the radio and they completely freaked out. They thought it was real. And the next day, it was front page news all across the country. People had left their homes, freed their animals from their cages. A few people reportedly even committed. And, and so it was big news at the time. And I am a comic book writer and I have come up with a comic book with a twist on that idea. I've imagined, what if it was real? What if there really was an alien invasion? Well, what happens is, is Orson Welles, the actor, joins a secret agency protecting Earth from aliens. So he directs and stars in movies during the day, fights aliens at night. And what can we do series? Um, Orson Welles, Warrior of the Worlds. Here's a picture of one of the covers. This cover was drawn by Dave Chisholm. And the art on the inside of the book is by Eric Whaley. So you can buy the comic online at scoutcomics.com or you can just reach out to me on social media at Citizen Milton. I actually want to be part of these comic conventions now. My book obviously isn't done yet, so I'm not ready to present my work. I'm not going to have enough stuff, no stickers, no books, no pins. I don't have the budget for it right now, but it's good to come here to, just to see the style that I want to do, the booth layout. Hi everyone, I'm Alondra with the Nona Race Collection. I'm here today at Bedrock City Mini Con. We brought our handcrafted acrylic earrings, keychains, as well as all of our vintage collectibles. You can follow us on Instagram at Nona Race. Thanks. Hi, my name is James Alexander Cole, and I've been a big comic book nerd and collector for decades. And I finally decided that I wanted to take my hobby and turn it into a business. My specialty is comics and different memorabilia that has been autographed. My store is actually on eBay. It's Big Daddy's Curiosities and Oddities. And I'm in the process of actually starting a store on Shopify and a store on uh, Collector's Comics. 
is Dan Price. I do Bigfoot Nose Karate. Check me out on Instagram at danomite139.com. Overall, these events are for anyone who is interested in nerd culture. Now, I gotta be honest, if you can't handle big crowds and Funko Pops, and you're not a nerd, then these events might not be the place for you. As I mentioned, this event that I went to was free. Most of the time it does cost to get in, then you still want to buy some merch, so it's pretty expensive. But speaking of merch, I did grab a few things. I bought these art prints from Ruzu. She's an amazing artist and also a manga creator. And as you know, I love Jojo and I had to snag me one. So this is Trish and Abakio from Golden Wind, which is part five in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, created by Hiko Oraki. Next, I bought me a portrait book. It's an art book by Nate Robles. He was another special guest. Now, I didn't buy this, but this was a gift from Leroy Brown. It's a comic called Ice Cubes that you can actually read online. It's a webcomic. And I thought it was really amazing and just gave me nostalgic when I used to read comics like newspaper. Yes, I'm that old. I used to love reading newspaper comic books, and that gave me that kind of vibe. This is a uh, Torchic Pokemon keychain. Uh, I couldn't pass it up, man. I love Pokemon. And I love grass types. And I love turtles. And last but definitely not least is my Tony Stark Funko Pop fan. Wait, look, okay. How can I say this? This dude is amazing, okay? <laughs> I love Tony Stark. And I, I'm not gonna lie. When I came in there, I was looking for two things. JoJo, Bizarre Adventure stuff, and Tony Stark. And if all the Funko Pops they had there, I was like, why can't I find Tony Stark? I found Iron Man, but I wanted Tony Stark, so... Really happy I got this one for a really good price. And you're like, well, I could buy this on the internet, but I just like buying things in person. That's what makes going out fun. Some other things that I bought was stickers. I got four for $1 and a t-shirt for my little sister. Let me know in the comments below what you think about comic conventions. Have you ever been to one? And if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe for more because I love documenting the creative process of visual art and storytelling. Please make sure to support the creators down in the description below. The ones that I did an interview for, all the links are down there. And without further ado, stay safe, stay blessed, and stay mad.